IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world. The shale gas, or shale gale as it's been called, um, shale gas developments have been a revolution in the supply of raw material and feedstocks for the chemical industry, particularly in North America, um, where it's been described by the CEO of Dow Chemical in particular as the most important development of the modern era. The chemical industry has been migrating to new areas such as the Middle East in recent years where cheap gas has been available and all of a sudden now the old manufacturing regions are resurging, coming back to the fore. And uh, this is not only an issue for the chemical industry but also further employment and manufacturing in these regions. It's not just a North American story, there is shale gas available in other regions of the world that are important for the chemical industry. In South America, for example, Argentina potentially, uh, in Europe, in Poland, in China, um, other parts of Western Europe such as the UK where chemical industry does exist. But uh, there's a question around availability, security of supply, getting at the gas, um, public opinion issues, environmental issues. So uh, much less certain outlook for chemical industry development there. What's different about the US is the gas is already flowing, it's available, the investments have been made by the exploration companies and ethane is coming on tap for the chemical companies in areas where it's required, particularly around the Gulf Coast um, and the east coast of America on the Marcellus field. Um, very importantly in America as well, there is an infrastructure, there's a pipeline network that is bringing the gas from the source of supply to the right place and that's giving a certain amount of comfort to companies that uh, further investments on the gas could be made. Now the gas is flowing in North America, in particular we've seen in the past 12 months a big uh, rush of announcements. There was a quiet period for a long time but suddenly we're seeing investments uh, coming up to 20 million pounds, uh, that's around 10 million metric tonnes of new ethylene capacity, ethylene is the building block of the chemical industry, have been announced by various companies. Uh, on the basis of the gas available and this will be used to make products such as uh, plastics, uh, packaging materials for food, used in healthcare, in the automotive sector. These investments will come on stream eventually and it probably won't be until 2016, 2017 for many of the big products, projects, but it will happen. Shell notably has announced a big investment uh, in the Pittsburgh area that would be based on the Marcellus gas. But again, uh, quite a lot of caution involved in that. You know, these are multi-billion dollar investments with long time scales. And the companies really want to be reassured that the gas is available. So um, the risks really are involved with the security of supply. Are the gas companies going to make long-term contracts available? Uh, it's not like the Middle East, you drop a well and the gas comes up. You know, there's a lot of uncertainty around the geological structures in the US and chemical companies are mindful of that. Um, there's also issues around um, public opinion in the US and again the companies are aware of that and if really all of these investments happen then we could see a surplus of supply of chemical products which will need exporting and you know, are the US public in a frame of mind to sanction major developments on their gas which they know eventually is going to be exported. Yeah. Is there going to be a coherent US policy to make gas available at the right price for the chemical companies? Uh, they're talking about $4 uh, million BTU is what they need which uh, you know could be not sustainable over the longer term. There's an issue around co-product supply. If you use ethane you get a lot of ethylene but you get less of other products uh, called propane, butane, propylene and butadiene which are used for other kind of polymers which would cause shortages in certain areas. So um, there's a lot of questions still around it. But overall I think the view of the industry is that the benefits outweigh the risks and so we will definitely see a lot of investment in, in, based on the shale gas. IHS, advancing decisions that advance the world.